Hello everybody and welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion unboxing review. Today we have the Roar Strikers Scorpio Ovenator. And as you guys can see it's the same Jurassic World Dominion packaging. And if we look at the back, there we have some more looks at the back there. Same packaging though. So there is the Scorpio Ovenator and let's get this guy out of the box. So here we have the Jurassic World Dominion Roar Strikers Scorpio Ovenator, and here's his tail, so let's assemble the tail. So now we have the tail assembled. Um, one thing that I really like about this dinosaur is just the overall look of it. As you guys can tell, it has more like of a, a bulldog snout, and it has these osteoderms that go all the way down its back. It kind of looks like feathers or scales, but I don't know what it is, but it is super cool. We can see some on the legs, we can see some on the back. The dinosaur is kind of like a mustard yellow kind of color, which is very cool. So let's take a look at the mouth here. Same as usual, really. Um, we can see some kind of dark blue right here, and some white going down the back right there against the dark blue. Um, for the action feature, you press down on its back and its hind legs and it kind of moves its head down and chomps. So that is really cool. And the arms are posable. You can rotate them 360, you can move them in and outward. Um, the tail is not posable, it just kind of just stays there. Um, the legs, I believe you can pose the legs. You can make them look like he's standing up or standing in downwards, but Overall, guys, this is a very great figure. Let me take my Alan Grant figure and put him next to the Scorpio Ovenator so we can get a good look at how big this dinosaur is. So that's how big the Scorpio Ovenator is. As you guys can tell, it's actually quite big for this dinosaur. I didn't expect it to be this big, but yes, guys, the Scorpio Ovenator is quite big. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh. What am I saying? I know you guys want the scan code. Why would I end the video without giving you guys a scan code? I'm always forgetting something in these kind of videos. Okay, if you guys did not get the scan code to work, just leave down in the comments down below, and I will make sure to make a separate video of that. But otherwise, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.